I'm Dr. Bobby Pritt. I'm the Laboratory Director of Clinical Virology and Parasitology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. My colleagues and I undertook a study looking at the effectiveness of patient-collected nasal swabs for influenza testing. And this will be published in an upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The goal of our study was to determine if patients could collect their own nasal swab for influenza testing and collect it to a sufficient degree that it would be comparable to a swab collected by a healthcare professional. And as part of this study, we also wanted to determine which type of swab patients preferred. Did they prefer collecting their own swab or would they rather have had a nasal swab collected by a healthcare worker? So we were looking at patient satisfaction as well as the quality of specimen that was collected. So the reason we undertook this study is because we know influenza is a highly communicable disease and we know that patients are at risk of obtaining influenza when in a healthcare setting, such as a waiting room or in an emergency department, waiting to be seen by a healthcare provider. So we wanted to remove the patient from the setting where they would be around other sick individuals and see if they would be able to collect a swab in a different environment away from infected individuals and still collect that swab with a high quality specimen. The swab that we used for this study is slightly different than the nasal pharyngeal swab that is classically used for collection of influenza specimens. Instead, it is a mid-turbinate nasal swab. The idea is that it goes into the nasal cavity, collecting an adequate specimen for influenza testing that is equal in efficacy to a nasal pharyngeal swab, but is preferred by patients because of ease of use and comfort. And so I have a swab here as an example. It is a flocked swab, meaning that it has a flocked layer, which allows it to collect and then elute a specimen more easily. It has a rim here that stops it from being inserted too far into the nasal cavity. And you can see that this would be inserted to a length that is not as long as a traditional nasal pharyngeal swab, which would actually go back in much further and is rather painful and definitely uncomfortable for patients. So the goal is a high quality specimen, but something that the patients could collect themselves with relative ease. The way we designed our study is that patients came into St. Mary's Emergency Department with an influenza-like illness. If they agreed to participate in the study, we collected two swabs. The first swab was actually collected by the patient from the right nostril. They followed written instructions on a card, but we didn't give them any specific instructions other than what was written. Therefore, to more simulate what they would do if they were collecting this at home. The second swab was then immediately collected from the opposite, the left nostril, by a trained healthcare provider. All the swabs were then tested by PCR, which is polymerase chain reaction, a highly sensitive method for detecting influenza A and B RNA from specimens, and then we compared the results. And the results really nicely showed that the patient collected swabs were very similar to the healthcare collected swabs. In total, we enrolled 72 patients. Of them, 25 were positive for influenza. Now, because we are in a large healthcare community, we had to realize that some of these patients were going to be healthcare providers, so we excluded them from the analysis. We had 14 healthcare workers, so once we excluded them, that left us with 58 individuals. Out of the 58 patients that remained after excluding for healthcare workers, 20 of those were positive for influenza, and all of them were positive by both methods except for three. Two specimens were positive only by the healthcare worker collection, and one specimen was only positive by the patient collection. So statistically, it wasn't different, and it actually showed that either the patient collected specimen or the healthcare collected specimen could be used for influenza testing. Of interest, we did go back and look at the two discrepants that were positive only by the healthcare worker and not by the patient. And all of our patients, as they performed their swabs, were monitored for compliance to the written instructions. And these two patients were the only two that grossly did not uh, comply with the instructions for collecting their swab. They actually only inserted it very quickly into the external nares instead of inserting it to the full length, and then they left it only for a second or two and then took it right out. So 
that's one thing to keep in mind. With a self-collected, a patient-collected swab, you need someone who is willing to comply with written instructions. First of all, this wouldn't be appropriate in all patients. Patients that have risk factors for severe disease probably shouldn't undergo this method, especially if the physician is going to plan on treating them anyway. Uh, testing may not be necessary. You also may have situations in which a patient may not be able to get their own nasal swab, either because they're unwilling or uninterested in obtaining their own swab or because they're physically not able to. So for example, if they have a nasal cannula and they can't insert the swab easily, or if they have severe arthritis or a tremor and they can't hold a swab, there's obviously physical reasons why some people would not be able to collect their own swab. But I think it's a nice option for certain populations and it's something that I'd like to look into implementing in our practice here at Mayo Clinic for the future. One, thing, one last thing that I'd like to mention which I thought was very interesting was the results of the survey of patient satisfaction with the self-swab collection method and it turned out that greater than 50 percent of the patients actually preferred the self-swab method to the healthcare worker collected method over 25% didn't care one way or the other, and it was actually the minority that remained that would have preferred the healthcare collected swab. So patients actually seem to be willing and even prefer collecting their own swab for influenza testing. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.